Topic 13, Lesson 5, Fractions and Decimals on the Number Line. Well, so far you've learned to locate points for whole numbers on a number line. In this lesson, you'll learn to locate points for fractions and decimals on a number line. Our standards are an expressive fraction with denominator 10 as an equivalent fraction with the denominator 100, and use this technique to add two fractions with respective denominators 10 and 100. And also to use decimal notation for fractions with denominators of 10 and 100. Mathematical practices, we're going to construct viable arguments and critique the reasoning of others. We're going to model with mathematics. We're going to use appropriate tools strategically. Attend to precision. Look for and make use of structure. And look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. Our focus is, how can you locate points for fractions and decimals on a number line? Let's take a look. Jacob jogged three-fifths of a mile and walked three-tenths of a mile to get to the park. How can a number line be used to show these distances? So one of them is three-fifths of a mile, and the other one is three-tenths of a mile. And we want to know, how could you show it on a number line? Let's start with three-fifths. Well, one of the ways we can do this is we want to make this denominator into a 10 or a 100, and it makes it much easier to, to find out. So we can start off by multiplying 5 times 2, which equals 10. And whatever you do the bottom, you have to do the top. So 3 times 2 is 6. So if we start with that, that makes it much easier. We see that 3 fifths is equivalent to 6 tenths. And on our number line, we've actually split it up into 10 equal parts. So we start with 0, we go to 1, but you can see it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then finally 1 is 10. So now we can actually go ahead and mark it. So if we know there's 6 out of 10, we can go start at 0 and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's the same place as that. And since we know that, it actually can be made into a decimal. So 6 tenths is the same as 6 tenths. And another way of looking at this, we actually could go ahead and use the number line and turn it into a rectangle. And notice this. If we go ahead and split it up, right down where the lines are at, and we can color in what we need. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we definitely have our 6 tenths. So since this is 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 parts, and six of them were colored in, we have our six tenths, or six tenths. So you can put it either way, a fraction or a decimal. Let's try three tenths. So same concept. We went ahead and took the number line and split it into ten equal parts. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And where's three tenths? One, two, three. Three tenths is right there, and since it's already in, in tenths, we don't actually need to change it any other way. But let's go ahead and take a look at it again. We can actually divide it just like we had a picture here. So we go ahead and divide it up into ten equal parts, and we only need one, two, three. So our answer is. 3 tenths is on the number line right here. And you can put it in decimal form, 3 tenths. It means the same. All right, I want to try 4 ninths. Pause the video and see if you can find 4 ninths on a number line. Good luck.
All right. How did you do? Well, this one's a little different. The ones before we divide into tenths, but this has a nine in the denominator. So we do not divide the number line into tens. We divide into nines. So we start with zero, and then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So that's our whole. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and just go to four ninths. So we start here at the zero and go one, two, three, four. That is our four ninths. And like we showed before, we can actually go ahead and divide it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we can shade in with just what we need. One, two, three, four. So that's where we go on our number line. Right there. All right. We'll now try some on your own. Good luck.